Hola y buenos días. Welcome to Spanish at Bay House Sixth Form. My name is Miss Matthews and alongside Mrs. Wall, we are the teachers for A-level Spanish here at Bay House School. And welcome to our video. So we're going to talk a little bit about the subject overview for the Spanish course. Now, A-level Spanish is divided into two years. Um, and in the first year, we look at two areas of interest. The first is social issues and trends, which is things like being a young person in Spanish and Hispanic society, family, citizenship, education, employment, and how this is changing in contemporary Spanish life. We also look at political, intellectual and artistic culture. So understanding the Spanish speaking world, which isn't just Spain, it's lots of different countries all across the globe. Um, regional culture, heritage, media, art, film and music. So as you can see, this is going to build on what you learn in GCSE, but it's going to take it to that next level, allowing you to have a deeper understanding of Hispanic and Hispanic culture. So that is year one. We also do a lot of grammar work, building on what you would have seen in GCSE, but we're taking it to that next step. So learning new tenses, new uh, language moods um, and all sorts of different things like that. We do do a lot of listening and you are able, in fact, to have your own little audio device where you can pause, um, rewind, listen to it as many times as you want, which is a bit different um, from GCSE. In year two, uh, we move on to two different themes, diversity and difference. And then the two Spains, 1936 onwards. Um, if you know a little bit about Spanish history, you might understand why we're looking at that period. But if not, that's what A-Level's for. And we welcome you to come and learn about that time period in Spain. Um, for diversity and difference, we look at things like integration, cultural identity, celebrating difference, and what a beautiful, diverse world uh, we are in. And in fact, in many Spanish countries, how lovely that diversity and multiculturalism uh, really is. Um, the two Spains then is talking about the Spanish Civil War. So, for example, what was the siege of Madrid really like during the Spanish Civil War? Um, what do we mean by the two Spains? What does that mean? Um, what is el franquismo, for example? All of this uh, you will study during your second year of A-level Spanish. Um, and uh, we are very, very proud of our examination results. Um, as you can see, the majority of our students will achieve A star to C grades. Um, last year we had 100% A grade, uh, which we were really, really um, proud of. Um, so the course will cover all of the four skills which are essential. Uh, so that's our listening, reading, writing and speaking. Um, at A-level, we do do a lot more translation um, and things like that. And in the second year, you will get the chance to do an IRP, which is an independent research project. So you get to choose um, an area of study that you are really passionate and interested in um, to do with Hispanic or Spanish culture. And that is your uh, independent research project. You will research it on your own and you'll be able to defend an argument about that topic, which is really, really exciting and something that you don't get to do um, in GCSE, uh, really. So uh, something that's really, really new and exciting. Um, also something that is we're really, really passionate about here at Bay House is being able to study film, so cinema, um, and some literature. So in the first year of A-level Spanish, you have the really exciting opportunity to study a film. The film that we study is called Mujeres al Borde de un Ataque de Nervios, which is a really, really uh, funny and um, interesting film. And you get to really analyse the characters, the storyline, how it was written, what the director really wanted to portray. And then the second year, you get to um, read a play. We're going to read a play together. It's called Las Bicicletas Son para el Verano. And it's by Fernando Fernán Gómez, who was a really prolific uh, playwright and actor and uh, author and lots of different things. Um, so a very famous, very famous um, Spanish person. Um, and that play is um, a really, really beautiful, uh, emotional and a very important play when it comes to learning about the Spanish Civil War. Um, it uh, was written in 1978 and it deals with the Spanish Civil War, the effects it had on the people. And um, well, I don't want to give too much away, uh, but we really, really love it. It's it's really beautiful and we are very, very passionate about teaching that. So, yeah, you get to have um, a bit of experience, not only with new language, but a little bit of history, a little bit of literature, a bit of culture, um, geography, all that kind of thing, all into one package in Spanish. Um, which is really, really exciting. Um, so why choose Spanish? If you're thinking about choosing Spanish, you're thinking about continuing your studies. Um, I think it's, obviously I'm a bit biased, but I think it's a really, really good thing. We know that linguists are very, very unique people. People that can speak another language um, are very much desirable in the job market. Even if you go for a job that's not related to languages, if you have that as sort of an extra, it goes a very, very long way. 
Uh, your memory is improved if you can learn a language. You can communicate with millions more people across the world. You can travel to exotic places like Peru, uh, like Argentina, like Chile, like Mexico, where there's some fantastic culture that you can experience if you speak this language. And of course, you can go to Spain on holiday, of course. Um, it combines really well with other subjects at university. So if you are thinking ahead, you would like to go and study something at university. Often you can study things like history with Spanish or law with Spanish or business with Spanish um, or psychology with Spanish. You can match it really well um, with, with other subjects. And one of the best things about that is that you get to go on a year abroad. You get to go and live in a country that speaks Spanish, not necessarily, not necessarily Spain. It could be a different country in Latin America, uh, but one opportunity for you to have in your young life. Um, much more benefits to learning a language, problem solving, critical thinking, ability to multitask, um, and well, lots, lots more. So why not is what I say, why not choose Spanish? Uh, yeah, excellent. Uh, a little bit more extra information about the course. Uh, we do offer weekly one-to-one -one sessions with our Spanish assistants who usually come from Spain, but sometimes come from a different Spanish speaking country. And you can speak to them one on one. You can have language practice. They'll tell you about their experience growing up in the country, which will really help you with your themes such as young life, uh, people for young life for people in Spain. Sorry. Um, there's also a summer translation workshop experience at Portsmouth University, um, which also offers some really, really good um, language courses for degrees, which might uh, you might be interested in. And also we have a letter exchange with a school in Valencia. So you can, you know, almost have a pen pal with someone abroad and you can learn that colloquial everyday language and idioms um, and things like that. Um, so that's really all I wanted to share with you today. Uh, we really, really do look forward to having you here at Bay House. Normally for our A-level classes, we have under 10 pupils. So that's really nice. We can um, identify any areas that we need to improve really quickly. And uh, you have a lot of opportunity to speak and participate. And we really do become a team and, and it's really lovely. Um, the teachers here, myself and Mrs. Wall, are really, really passionate about Spanish. We absolutely love Spanish, Spanish culture, um, not just in Spain, of course, but in other Hispanic countries. And we absolutely love sharing that with our new students. Um, so I hope that that's been useful. Um, and I hope to see you soon um, at Bay House School for Spanish. Muchas gracias y adiós.